Ladies and gentlemen, today we have an absolute banger for you guys. We're actually going to be checking out, in my opinion, the top 10 class setups to use right now in Warzone. Now, just a fair warning, okay? We might go a bit over 10 because the meta right now in Warzone is extremely balanced. And right now, you can actually use pretty much any gun right now. I think they kind of wanted to cap off Cold War Warzone with a time where we can just use any weapon, have fun, not have to worry about one particular AR or SMG that is just extremely overpowered and is taking over the game. So I'm actually, in a way, pretty thankful they did that because now with this video i can actually give you guys basically just a very vast range of weapons that you guys can use in warzone and still fry so make sure you guys do stay tuned man we're gonna shoot for 500 likes on this video so make sure you guys do drop a like right now and subscribe if you guys are brand new here's a noted shadow up on the screen if you guys do want to win one in a future video make sure you guys are sub with the nutty bell turned on and once you guys are finished comment down below hashtag bell game with that being said man we're gonna jump straight into the class setups right now that you guys can use in warzone now starting off man we got the ots9 this is still by far the number one smg to use at close ranges now the reason why it is still like that is because they actually wanted this gun to be the specific smg to compete with shotguns at close ranges if you guys didn't know they actually nerfed the ots a fair amount of times but the reason why it's still so op at close ranges is to compete with shotguns so we're going to take a look at this class setup right here you guys are going to want the gru suppressor as well as the 8.1 task force barrel you guys are want to go over here to magazine put on the vdv 40 round mag uh now this is actually the fast mag i really Really have never used the fast mag on smgs in a long time but for some reason a lot of people actually recommend to use the fast mag on this class setup in particular you guys are also going to want this serpent wrap mainly because the fast mag decreases your ads time a lot so you guys are going to pretty much need this attachment and then last but not least you guys can actually go ahead and put on the kgb skeletal stock as well and this is pretty much your full entire class setup right here for the ots that has been you know i'm saying frying at close range still our second class i'm going to go ahead and show you guys is obviously the mac 10 you guys probably know this gun still absolutely fries in war Warzone. it hasn't gotten touched as far as like weapon tuning in a long time so it has stayed the same and true to itself and i really do think that you guys should still be using the mac 10 if you guys have not picked it up in a long time what i still run on this class setup is for your muzzle put on the sound suppressor i might try out the agency suppressor again i haven't tried out in a long time but this is by you know what i'm saying i'm gonna just keep it real with you the sound suppressor is what i have been using personally for your barrel put on the 5.9 task force for your laser go ahead and put on the tiger team spotlight you're also going to want to go ahead and put on the raider stock as well for your magazine put on the 53 round drum mag now this is essentially the best class setup for the mac 10 right now in my personal opinion like i said i know there's a few people that do run the agency suppressor so i might try that again here in the near future maybe do a video on it but for right now this is what i'm rocking on the mac 10 since we're on the topic of smgs right now i thought i would just kind of go over here and do an obvious one which is the modern warfare mp5 now even though this isn't the best smg right now it's very very good one now believe it or not this gun actually caught a bit of a silent buff a few months ago i think now it wasn't too much of a buff but i will show you guys what i mean by that this is the class that you guys are going to want to run right here for a barrel you're going to want to put on the mono integral suppressor for your under barrel put on the merc foregrip now for your magazine this is actually the attachment that got buffed so you guys can either put on the 45 round mag which a lot of people still do or you can put on the 30 round mag just keep in mind obviously you're going to be short 15 rounds but this is the attachment that actually got a bit of a silent buff and it gives you straight up damage range so that's why i made a class set up on this gun about a month ago a 30 round mag so you can so you guys can use either or honestly and still make this gun good now for your stock you're also going to want to put on the ftac collapsible stock and for the M uh, mw mp5 for the longest time now people have been using sleight of hand on it just to make your reload time faster and that's essentially what we got for the mw mp5 right here by far my favorite sub in modern warfare and in warzone probably as well i had so much fun with this through modern warfare's lifespan so since we're on a little bit of a smg spree right now i thought i would just go over here to the other mp5 and do the cold war mp5 now you guys might be like hydro didn't this gun get nerfed a bit ago and yes it did i do not exactly remember what it was for but since the meta is balanced now and this gun is ground loot you guys should probably use it on ground loot you would know that this gun it feels pretty good on ground loot, despite the fact that it got nerfed a little bit ago so what you're going to want to run on this class setup right here in particular is the agency suppressor for your laser go ahead and put it on the tiger team spotlight for your stock go ahead and put on the raider stock for your magazine you can either put on the 40 round or or the 50 round mag just keep in mind that with the 50 round your ads speed and reload quickness is going to be a bit slower than usual i think i usually put on the 40 round i can't remember exactly what i do and then for your under barrel go ahead and put on the bruiser grip for that movement speed and hip fire accuracy both mp5s are super good right now now unfortunately if i had to pick one to use it would be the cold war mp5 the mw mp5 right now is just simply not as good as this gun in my opinion it feels a lot better using the cold war mp5 but that is simply just because raven is prioritized 
advertising Cold War guns right now, which kind of sucks, but still it's whatever, you know? So I believe we're on number five right now. We're actually gonna go over here and take a look at the Cold War AK-47. Now this gun is actually still very good, believe it or not. It has go it has gone through its fair share of nerfs and I think buffs as well. I can't remember exactly. Uh, Raven has been tuning these weapons so much as of recently. So I can't remember exactly what happens at the Cold War AK, but just long story short, it's still pretty good in the game. What you guys are gonna wanna run on this class setup right here is the GRU suppressor. For your barrel, you're gonna wanna put on the Spetsnaz RPK. For your under barrel, obviously put on the Spetsnaz grip for that vertical and horizontal recoil control. For your magazine, you guys can just put on the regular 45 round mag. And then last but not least, obviously go ahead and put on the actual arms three times scope. By far the number one AK class right now, it is the best class setup in the game to control the recoil at the moment, which is why I think you guys should use this class setup in particular because the Cold War AK does have a fair amount of recoil. Now, if you wanna base this video straight up on statistics, I thought I would go over to the Car 90 AK just so I don't miss it, man. But this gun has been ranked number one in Warzone for the longest time now as far as pickup rate goes. This is by far the most popular gun in Warzone history, I would say, because it has literally just been used so much throughout Warzone's lifespan. And it's just the number one sniper in the game at the moment. So what you guys are gonna want to run on this class setup, if you guys haven't used it before, is for your muzzle, go ahead and put on the mono suppressor. For your barrel, go ahead and put on the Singard Custom 27.6. Go ahead and put on the TAC laser as well with the sniper scope. And then last but not least, you guys can put on the FTAC Sport Calm stock. It gives you straight up ADS. It makes it super quick to ADS and kind of quick scope if you need to. But yeah, if we're basing this gun straight up on statistics, this is the number one gun in Warzone. It has been for a long time. Now, once again, if you're speaking statistically, the Swiss K31 is the ranked number two gun in Warzone at the moment and has been for once again, quite a while, not as much as the car, but more as of recently, these last few months, the Swiss has kind of grown on people, I would say. I would say that this is probably the car 9 AK counterpart is like the uh, the second option to the car. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I have this gun at level five, so I'm in Warzone private match, giving you guys this class setup right now. So kind of bear with me a little bit if I take a while to go over this class setup with you guys. This is kind of based on what a bit of other content creators say. So bear with me right here. For a muzzle, go ahead and put on the sound moderator. For a barrel, you're gonna wanna go ahead and put on the combat recon for that bull velocity. For a laser, go ahead and put on the SWAT 5 MW laser, mainly to increase that ADS speed as to what I'm hearing. Now for your under barrel, man, you guys are gonna wanna go ahead and put on the bruiser grip for that movement speed and the aiming stability. And then last but not least, for your rear grip, go ahead and put on the serpent wrap for that additional ADS time. As far as I know, this is the best Swiss class setup right now. Like I said, I actually haven't even used this gun myself. I'm just going based off what other content creators say, so I'm sorry about that, man. I will have a Swiss video coming out soon for you guys because I know there's a lot of people who actually want me to use this gun. Drop a like if you guys want me to make a video on this. Now, one gun that I think got a nerf in the Season 6 update that you guys are actually going to want to go ahead and still use is the MG82. From what I'm hearing, this gun basically has not gotten changed at all. Now, this is another gun that I actually do not have fully unlocked because I was on vacation when this gun came out, so I didn't necessarily even have the motivation or time to get this gun unlocked by the time the season came out. But what you guys are definitely going to want to run on this class setup is for number one, the agency suppressor. You're also going to want to put on the 16.4 task force barrel as well as the field agent grip. You're also going to want to go ahead and put on the serpent wrap as well as the axe arms three times scope. Now, I'm sorry if I was like looking off to the side while I'm reading this class setup. Like I said, I've actually never, well, I actually have used this gun one time on my buddy's account, but I've never used this gun on my account, uh, you know what I'm saying, for a video or anything like that. So make sure you guys drop a like if y'all want to see a video on this gun as well. But this class setup right here actually has a 36% pickup rate. So it is by far the best class setup to use for the MG82 right now, without a doubt. Now, I'm pretty sure we're in number nine right now. So two guns that I want to do to cap it off is the M4A1 in the growl. Because even though these statistically might not be the best guns in the game, the meta is extremely balanced right now. And you guys could actually use this gun at any gunfight and actually fry people still. It's not like before where you would use the M4, get absolutely toasted by everybody using a Krieg 6 or something like that. This gun is actually very, very viable now and I have been using it recently. So for this class setup that I'm actually trying out and is the very OG class setup for the M4A1 is for your muzzle, go ahead and put on the mono suppressor. For your barrel, go ahead and put on the Corvus Marksman. As well as for your under barrel, go ahead and put on the Commando Grip Magazine for the 50 round mag. And then for your stock attachment, actually put on the no stock. This is the no stock M4A1 and this is a very, very OG class 
setup for this gun that was used back when Warzone literally first came out by a lot of the pro players. And I thought I would bring this gun back. Now, even though it's not exactly how it was before when it first came out, um, it's still very, very good. And it has some pretty good mobility where you guys can actually use this as like a sniper support weapon. However, if you guys do want just a normal M4 class setup for long range engagements, you guys can put on the mono suppressor for your barrel. Go ahead and put on the stock M16 barrel. Once again, go ahead and put on the commando grip as well as the 50 or the 60 round mag, just depending on what you guys want to do. And then last but not least, you guys can actually go ahead and put on the VLK 3.0 optic. You guys can go ahead and put on the tac laser, or you can put on something like if you go to your grip over here, you can put on the rep rise or the stipple grip tape. This is kind of like a bit of a predicament that people have been in with the MW ARs is most times people don't actually know what to put on after they have these four attachments because you can go with the optic laser or rear grip. You can go with a lot of things. For the video's sake though, we'll just go ahead and put on the VLK 3.0 optic just to make it simple. But that's in general what you guys are gonna wanna use on the M4A1. And then last but not least, man, you guys know the drill. We got the Grout 5.56. Like I said, even though it statistically might not be one of the best guns to use in the game right now, I still think that this fires because the meta is pretty balanced. But regardless of what people say, I think you guys should still give this gun a shot if you guys just wanna try it out, have some fun and have some nostalgic gameplay to give kind of like the Grout OG vibe. So what you guys are gonna wanna run on this class setup if y'all have never used the Grout before is for your muzzle, the mono suppressor for your barrel, go ahead and put on the Archangel barrel. For your laser, go ahead and put on the TAC laser. Officially for your under barrel, you guys are gonna wanna put on the commando foregrip. And then last but not least, go ahead and put on the 50 round mag or the 60 round mag. Just keep in mind that if you put on the 60, your ADS speed and movement speed is gonna be decreased significantly, man. So, so I wasn't really even counting right there, but I'm pretty sure those were 10 class setups that you guys can use in Warzone season six right now. Like I said, though, the meta is extremely balanced. So realistically, you guys could actually use a lot more than that. But those are just 10 that I could recommend to you straight off the rip, man. Make sure you guys do drop a like on this video. If you guys wanna see more top 10 class ups when a new season come out especially with vanguard dropping in less than a month man you guys are going to want to know the top 10 best class ups from that come out i really hope you guys do go on to have a good rest of your day thank you all so much for stopping by to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace dropping my show like a wars i'm starting to mosh pit leaving with broke bones 100k on me like hydro count it up audience cover the whole globe sneakers and hear you with astros i got the setup that come from the cosmos i don't need nobody telling me how to flow i just keep stacking these subs like it's quiznos